recording dash to dash gem dot blogspot dot com. On that site, when you visit there, it will have this complete routine in an Excel worksheet that you can print out or save for your reference. It includes all the exercises I'm going to show you today. I'll tell you a little background on this routine. First of all, this is my routine. I did not take this anywhere from the internet or from a workout video. When I bought this machine, which is very similar to the Total Gym, all these exercises should work on the Total Gym as well as this model, the Total Trainer, I had a hard time coming up with a workout routine. I used to work out in the gym when I was growing up, but I took quite a few years off, gained a lot of weight, and I wanted a home gym that was affordable, easy to use, and small enough to pack up if I wanted to put it away. I came across the Total Trainer, which I'm going to do another video review. It's a great machine. I'll review it, go through all the points, every all the features, and give you the website to that. But for this, it's going to be just a workout. This is a 20-minute workout should be able to do it in 20 minutes or less, will get you in shape and fit into your tight schedule. Few things to note, this workout is based around a three day a week workout with one day off in between each and a two day weekend. Each exercise we do, we will do one set because studies have shown that you do 65% of the work in that first set so we do one set each. Reps are going to vary between the exercises. There's an old myth, higher the reps, the more you cut, the lower the reps, the more mass you put on. That's not true. Your muscles do not, cannot tell how many reps you're doing. When you're doing a weight resistant workout, you're merely just straining your muscle and they're rebuilding back bigger and stronger. Also, I want to um, point out another thing is this is going to give you a cardio as well as a weight resistance training too and the one thing about weight resistance over cardio is cardio you merely burning calories when you're doing the cardio weight resistance you're burning the calories while you're doing the workout but as well later on as your body heals from the straining so you burn much more calories doing a weight resistance training as opposed to cardio now what I'm going to start with is the leg curl, it's on the bottom level, and then I work straight down through after that. The reason why I start with your legs, your legs are the biggest muscle in your body, they're the hardest to strain, so they're good to start out with when you're working out. If you don't do a proper stretch, you have a better chance of not straining other muscles. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to the lowest level, flip up leg attachment here. What I'm going to do is a standard leg curl. Easiest way to do this is hook your legs on there, lay back, push yourself up, and then from there you can slide your feet. And what you want to do is 10 to 15 slow reps. I do 15 for all my legs. And you just want to pull yourself up as far as you can. Let down, up as far as you can, let it back down, and this is about the speed you want to do it. You don't want to do it fast, as with any weight resistance training, the slower, better. You want to maintain your breathing, you don't want to hold your breath, and you want to count out about 10 to 15, like I said, I do 15. But you want full range of motion when you're doing this. Okay, I generally sort all the exercises by which ones use the pulleys and which ones do not, just out of convenience and speed. I try to keep a steady pace so I get a good cardio workout as well. What we're going to do is a one-legged squat. The reason why we do one leg, it's the same as two leg, but it's hard to get enough weight on these machines to really make use of two leg. So you go ahead and just place your other leg here. Once again, you want to keep a nice steady pace, full range of motion. If you can't do it at a slow pace and a full range of motion, you're going to want to move your weight down. Once again, you're going to want to do about 15 of these, 15 reps. And then switch to your other leg. You want to do 15 more reps. Now, I'm not doing 15 here. This is just for demonstration purposes and to show you the exercises. 
Now the next exercise is going to be calf raises. And what you want to want to do is go down past and then up past. You want that full range so you work your whole calf muscle. You don't want to just do level up. You want to go down, dip down past. Once again, one leg. And I generally do 20 of these. You want to go down as far as you can, up as high as you can. And do your other leg down as far as you can, up as high as you can. Okay. You want to just grip both your hands on the bar and just pull up to your chins above the bar. And you want to go up and down, full range of motion. Remember to keep your form and to breathe. Do 10 of those. Now we're going to hook the pulley system back up. And we're going to do a seated row. Take seated upright position. Keep the pulleys about um, shoulder's length. And you're going to want to pull them in as far as you can. And let them out. Keeping your back straight the entire time. Doing full range of motion. Do ten of them. Next, you're going to want to do bench press. Seated in up the right position. A little past shoulders length. Poise. Put your feet on the rest. Keep your back straight. And once again, full range of motion. Do 10 of those. The next is a three part where I'm going to do a tricep press down, leg raise, and an advanced crunch. For that, I removed the squat bar. I generally do these three without getting off the machine. I'll do them right in a row. Basically what we're going to do here is start with the tricep press down. For this you're going to want to just move your elbow. You don't want to swing your arms at all. Full range of motion. And then I go into a leg raise. Keep your feet together. Pull it up as far as you can. I usually do 15 of those. And then after 15 of those, I do an advanced crunch. I hold my arms like this. And now when you're doing this, you don't want to pull the weight with your arms. You want to pull it with your abs. And you basically just want to do a crunch, but with the weight pulling on. A bicep curl. Once again, you're only going to want to bend your elbows while you're doing it. You want to lay back straight, head resting on there, and you don't want to swing your arms. You only want to move your elbows. Full range of motion. Breathing the entire time. And I go into shrugs. For this you just want to lift up you don't want to use your arms for this. You want to use your shoulders only. But I generally do 15 of those. The next exercise is a pullover. This is the most natural exercise in this machine. The one you'd most think of doing when you sit on this naturally. This is a great exercise. Works your chest, triceps, most of your upper body. For this you want to keep your arms roughly shoulder length and you want to keep them straight. You don't want to bend your elbows. Bring them down. Touch your legs. Up again. Down. Touch your legs. Breathe the entire time. Try not to bend your elbows. And again, I'll have the number of uh, reps for each of these on the worksheet. They vary for each exercise, what I recommend. 
I'm just doing a couple here for demonstration purposes. And your next workout will be a wrist curl. What you're going to want to do is sit down a little further, put your legs, rest your legs on the board, and just curl in. Wrist curl, this works your forearms. I generally do about 20 of these. And that's it for the highest level. Like I said, this entire workout done the right way, the right amount of reps, takes about 20 minutes. Now I hope the pulley system. Go down to your middle level, which is going to vary for everybody. Mine's two steps lower. I'm doing one here just for demonstration. And you're going to want to do a set of pull-ups. Wide stand, wide grip. Once again, you're going to want to pull until your chin is past the bar. Down always. So your chin is past the bar. And you're going to want to do 10 of those. Move the bar down here. Shoulder press. You want to keep your head down as close to the board as you can. You want to push up, full range of motion. Back down. Do 10 of these, full range of motion, and the next exercise is going to be chest fly, hook the pulley system back up, seated upright, feet resting on the Feet rest, and you want to keep your elbows as straight as you can. Come out, full range of motion. Meet in the middle. This is going to work your chest. A little bit of your triceps. You do about 15 to 10 of those. And now we go to the lowest level. your love handle area, size of your abs, and you're not going to want to use your arms, you're going to want to use your waist area to do this workout. And I'm just hooking the handle on the footrest up here, and do your other side. generally do 15 of those. Okay, that's it. my workout on here. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, email me or put in a comment or message. I will get back to you. Again, this routine is available on my blog. It's world-according-to-gym.blogspot.com. 